Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factory Modded SpaceX.6. Uh, what am I doing? Um, I was doing like a fleet of spaceships to power the Stargate and uh, I came across a bit of a problem with it. They kind of flood. So I've kind of retrofitted them again. So this is the second second round of retrofit. So I mean, I don't mind retrofitting them, but it takes a while to retrofit, but I think I've got it a little bit better. And I was also offline building a new thing on the weekend. I built this new ice hauler. Um, the funny thing about this ice hauler is it's just to give ice to this because this has ran out of ice and I can't be bothered redoing these ships because these are like real, you know, they're like inside the star system little haulers so it's probably better that they don't get reprogrammed. Otherwise they make new ships. I can't be bothered doing that. So I've made another little ship. And this one moves the ice from Nervous Orbit to the Astro Belt. Because Nervous Orbit now gets all its ice from Deep Space. So I made this new little ship. Nothing fancy here. It's just a little... Actually, why is the power so low? Oh, it's true. Actually, why is the power so low? I guess it's probably this whole planet. Is it running out of power fully? I mean, no. It looks like we're gonna always gonna have power here from the flat solar panel. But the bots are not doing anything now. Interesting. Um. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's no belt sales. I was loading on belts here on this little ship, and looks like the I'll need to deliver them, so we can go off to Elidus and top it up. Yeah, the um, ships at Nestra, I retrofilled them by doing this new pipe through the middle here, so then both of these actually balance their temperature. What I was having problems with is that sometimes these are getting out of whack, even though they should, in theory, power the same. Um, they don't. There's like weird biases in, in this game. Like fluids will move right rather than left or vice versa. They make problems. Hey Sergeant Dog, how are you going? How's your, uh, how's your 2023 recap? How's it going? Yeah. Okay, I got the ships. I think we need another ship though. These are ready to go for testing. Oh, thanks, Sergeant Dog. Yeah, I've been on them. Um, I'm resting my throat. I was like, I thought I was getting sick. So I was like, better not talk. But I think I was just irritated, so. I'm like, yeah, I'll come on tonight. That's gonna be good. Got three days left to work for the year, then I'm then I'm on holiday till uh, it's past New Year's. Almost two weeks off, I think. Which is gonna be pretty good. I might stream a bit more. We'll see. I'm not, not sure what else I'm gonna do. Um, I know you don't stream as much when I'm not working, which is kind of weird. But I think to me, like streaming is like a good. It's a good, good fast-forward button. Pass the time. Uh, it's quite good just having a bit of engagement, a bit of chitty chats. Let's see what's going on. Anyway, so I think I'm going to ignore this stuff now. The power can probably slowly go down. We're not, we're actually not dialing right now. Oh, cheers, cheers, the salute. Um, I was working on the computer offline as well. I was trying to start doing a new logic for the computer, but I kind of realized I did not think about this correctly. So I have to start, I have to start again. But I got the right idea though. The idea is that um, this is the inf upside down coordinates of those three. So this is the dis destination opposite. Um, and then this is the first one, which is calculated by this thing. Basically, that's the nearest approximation to where I'm supposed to 
get to like nearest nearest values to these three basically. So it's ne negative eight, negative five, negative three. Um, and then after that, I'm supposed to do the rest of calculations, but I do all zeros here, and that's meant to be the center coordinate. It's supposed to be zeros. Well, theory, if I done it right, I would just say one on all these. But it is saying one. Um, hey, Savi, how you going? Hey, how's your? Uh, I think it's your winter there, right? So how, <clears throat> how's your winter? How's winter treating you? So I think we need to copy this. But I need to lay it out better. It's not laid out very well. Oh, double run and build it. Well. Can I paste it? No, it's working on the spaceship offline since then. I think we have to start again. I think it's up here somewhere. Where to... Is this thing? Well, no, it wasn't that thing. It wasn't that thing either. Actually, we've kind of changed it since then. Um, I guess technically it's this thing here. But we've done modifications. Morning, tiny Goliath. Hey, how are you? How are you going? Is there no one playing Factorio today? Is, it, is there a drought on Factorio? I've been busy playing, uh, watching Twitch. I mean, watching like all these <coughs> role players. Bloody addicted to it. All these people playing um, GTA 5, doing role playing. And it was, it was, it's just like watching a TV show to me, but it's like more engaging. And I, would get, I would get so sucked into the, like, the stories of, of what's going on. It's so weird. A man in Scotland felt urged to sneeze, but he pinched his nose and hat mouth closed. The pressure from with held sneeze perforate his trachea. Oh god. I got one trick one trick I'll tell you about sneezing. When you're gonna sneeze, block one nostril, not two. Block the one that's like most blocked. That all of it goes out one nostril. It works it's real real powerful. It'll clear clear your clear your nose a bit better. You can actually sneeze into your mouth as well, but that's a, that's a different trick. But you probably know about that one. Yeah, the, the nose ones, it's quite a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Blowing your trachea though, god. Uh, not, that's not, not good. Is this even balanced? Actually, did I even have a print of that in my actual... I don't think I did. Yeah. Um, computer. We're working on a computer. We forget. We figured out how to start working on the computer, Veldak. I was. I just gotta start laying it out. I'm not sure how much space I'm gonna need. I was kind of being my usual self and being a bit minim minimalistic. But um, we'll go backwards a little bit. We'll go back here. And we don't want this third one. We don't want that. Yeah, we always want that. So this is all going to be moved in alignment with this, I believe. And even this thing here, the fact that there's one thing one above, is a little frustrating. So I might move that too. Well, to put all of it down the tile. How's it laid out currently? Goes in and then goes in. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. We can probably cent centralize it actually. That's so gonna be like there. Um, 
Do we have a gap? We'll just get rid of the gaps. We'll align it like this. Actually, align it like that's probably better. Yeah. The Irishman and the Englishman are still at the bar. <laughs> They're drinking the bar dry, right? Like the Scotsman's already on the way home. All right, let me just go straight across, and then these ones. I think it's reading one, so that's correct. Interesting. So. What's gone wrong here? Why is there no numbers showing up? Oh, these aren't connected. Of course not. Um, what's the number? 99. I'm not sure what number I'm expecting, but as long as he's math, is a math, he's a mathing. Um, why is there nothing here? There's no purple. Oh no, there won't be any numbers because there's actually zero. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do the zero thing like seven times to do the equivalent of what I did originally. Which was... Uh, do it every single combination against the non... 144 combinations. Which one was the smallest? Why not gonna tell me though with this one? I mean, if I just can I multiply this multiple times? If I do another lot of these, let's say I copy this and make these all zeros, will that will that be different? Will it work out better? In Scotland, we can't sell from the off license after 10 p.m. No, oh, weird. Our pubs are closed like by, I think, 3 a.m. or something. They used to, they used to go like till 6 a.m. or something, but. The older people you see, as people get older, they get a bit more, a bit more uh, prudish and uh, conservative. Like, nah, nah, we don't want these these young these young whippersnappers, uh, you know, having their way. So, all the fun has to end. No, f no fun allowed. This has got to go. And then, and then that's that. No, it's all locked up. It's all over. Hmm. So what else is the news today, Valdek? What have you been up to? How's the holiday? How's not working? Now the trick here now is actually how do I pass the signal? So that's the distance. That's the that's the um that's the mathing of the. Oh man, how do we do the next step? I don't think we add it on. We've got to multiply these two together. Um, what do we? Because the math I can't figure out with this is how do I get all eight mathing together, right? Right, so I do this a few more times. I'll probably do them next to each other now. Um, that's not the actual correct way of doing it though, but I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to brainstorm a little bit. I think we're doing the same mistake as before. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
but the idea is like, uh, where is it? I should grab the actual. This is the actual. So this is say like 98. So if I, if I center it, it says 98. So it, when you look at the triangle, I need like a triangle. I need a, I need to draw another triangle. I think I'll just grab one. I have a little triangle on these things. Not really. Um. I need to draw a little triangle. So. Draw a triangle. Nice to do that as well, but um, we don't need that. that there. There's some crazy news. A man was on a walk. Yeah. Someone shot the man. Oh no. Damn, that's rough. Hey, why is there an Indian here? Interesting, like little turtle indents. You know, the idea I was trying to convey is, um, this, these zeros, is that one here. And so, what I'm trying to get to is 8753 the negative plane. I don't know what the positive negative plane of these are. Maybe these like positive triangles and negative triangles? I don't know. I don't think it matters. So I don't know what happens. Like, what is this coordinate here? Is that, is that, a, is that a 2? Is that a 2, 0, 5? I mean, you can't really do that three dimensions on a 2D plane, so... I won't pretend to know. What I know is that somewhere in here is the direction we're going. So that's where that might be like here or something. And uh, all these other ones are pulling it to this thing here. So in theory it should pull us closer and closer to the middle each time. But I don't know. What I've got to figure out though is how to merge them. Yeah, it's it's 3D vector math, uh, Tony Clive. I'm trying to do it with combinators. Um, and I couldn't figure out how to combine them. So this is one x y z coordinate. Um, say it's this minus seven, minus five, minus three, and this is another lot zero zero zero. And so I'm basically just getting their, uh, I can't remember what that's called. It's like their magnitude or, uh, mm. I want to say it's the closest point just between the two. It's how close they are. It's, it was 98. No, it's not that close. It was like 10. That's very close. Yeah, I failed this at university. Um, but it's definitely... I, I wasn't, yeah, it was too hard for me back then. Many years ago, but I managed to do this puzzle without doing this. But I wanted to, I want to, um, yeah, I want to solve inside with, inside Factorio rather than solve it with a Google Sheet. So I built a Google, Google Sheet, which is basically does what I'm trying to do, but, um, I'm trying to make, you know, Trans transform that to factorial com combinators. Yeah, it's difficult. There are there are some workarounds if do. I can't remember what I was doing here. I think this is my bigger one. I was trying to compare all seven, but I can't. I I when I built this, I don't know what I was on, but this one is like I was doing something here. There's I, I had like six locations going on at once 
I don't know what I was doing, but I have to ignore that. I can't, I, I didn't know what I was doing there, but I uh, trying to find two vector points almost the same direction. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find them pointing to the same, roughly the same spot. So I know where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to see which one is pointing to the similar direction of magnitude. I mean the magnitude is all one, so we know that, but the similar direction to um, my destination. So I know that these are the way I'm trying to get to. And so with eight coordinate sets, it'll eventually get here. So I'm trying to do it so I, I do the, um, I'm trying to do a, a test case where I use 834 here and then all the zeros, which is the midpoint. And that's supposed to tell you uh, 834. It's supposed to give you this number back. It's supposed to un be unchanged. Um, but basically, I'm just doing it. Um, how 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 uh, close they are to the direction. And that's what this multiplication is here. So this is this is uh, x y z like um, squaring and squirting it to get the how close it is to where I want to get to. So I'm not sure if that's the scalar multiplication, but I think it is. Um, so that's that's it there. It's not. I mean, this is this is actually square. This is square squaring in Factorio, apparently. The idea is you do um, x1 minus x0 and you square that and then you do y1 minus y0 you square that and you do z1 minus z0 you square that and then you put them all in a bracket and you square root that and that gives this value here which is 99. So that's the formula that this does. So I'm trying to do that for 8 coordinates at once which is the center coordinate seven times and the actual symbol coordinate once. The idea is... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need cosines at the angle. But maybe, maybe, maybe it makes it easier for doing the combinator math, I don't know. But when I was solving this originally, I did all the I, I solved for all the formulas, like all the different things a vector can do. I did like a big um, big spreadsheet of all the different things just to get a feel for uh, what was getting me closer to what I'm solving. I was like, ah, oh, a bit of a light bulb, light bulb. Let's get the nearest result of the two. Yes, yeah, so I didn't. I didn't use that a x b x a y b y a z b z. Um, well, actually, maybe that's what this is. Actually, because this is actually uh, this here is. Uh, I'm actually minusing one from the other. So this is x one minus x zero, y one minus y zero, um, z one minus z zero, and then I am divided by ten million because I can't work with these numbers. It doesn't work with them being that big and then I am multiplying I'm squaring them that's all squaring them and then that square roots them anyway enough of that the point is I was just trying to figure out how to um combine multiple of these together and then I can uh test case the, the whole problem without doing any um any triangle. Because I, I drew this, like, it took me a while. I'm missing a few pieces, but this is the 2D pyramid. And I'm trying to, like, I gotta obfuscate that as well, just 60 numbers. So that it doesn't matter what the symbol is. I'm gonna say it's like symbol 1, symbol 32, symbol 24. And then you need another, need, need another grid though. Of these symbols that to match them up. 
We need like a, you know, I don't know. It's it's gonna take a bit. I can just play Factory though. I was I'm just trying to like you know do something that's difficult. Hey, we got it got here. Let's go sick, fix this up. So this thing here doesn't have um the water ice. This makes me good now. Why isn't it building these things? What? What's wrong with this thing? Why isn't it building the... Huh? I got belts on one of these chests, I thought. Where are they? I had a green chest. I know I did. Oh well, I can just go over there and build it myself. But... There we go. But yeah, all these... This my latest logic is to... Ah, oh, we see requests on the ship console, that's right. We're supposed to um, add negative console. It's kind of dumb. I wonder if I can do... No, it has to be negative console on these requests. There we go. Now the problem with this situation currently is that while the ship's docked, it will constantly request it. For some reason it's not taking them out of these two chests here. Oh no, I didn't do that. I forgot that step. That's right. It's supposed to steal all the all the um water ice. Yeah, it's better. There's such a there's such a bang system though. I really shouldn't do this, but here I am. It's actually quite quick that um these bots they are really ripping out the ice. Surprisingly not that many are crashing, but I guess the Astro belt is like a much lower death rate. Not like, normally like lots of them will die by now. Problem is it's stealing all my um, ice from my ship as well, but I mean I don't mind. I don't think I need it. The whole point of this was just to kickstart this process so that, um, these original ships can do their business again. So let's make sure my ship leaves. Uh, This thing's supposed to go in at zero, so something's gone wrong. It is zero, but... Oh, maybe I took the wrong thing. How many in there? There's nothing in there, though. It's just... It's because there's, there's a brownout a problem. So the problem is actually I can't read this. It surely reads the signal when it's got um, wire on it. But... Oh wait, we're not. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. Why is that ticking? Oh no, it's supposed to tick. It's supposed to leave. A equals twenty-three. Oh. Yeah, that's where we went wrong. A is supposed to equal um forty-four. And that should leave then. But I should read the other chest, but I can't, so I think that's fine. Should leave now. Why is it not launch? Oh, it's set to three. Okay, let's change it to being um, two. Here we go. Bingo. I got this ice ready to go for my little hauler. So I fixed my little hauler up. Yay! I probably could make a um a like little stone hauler. See my little stone boys around. What do you reckon? I think we're stealing the we're stealing the ice. 
we're we're thirsty. So I thought I I thought I knew how to implement this computer. I was doing it offline, then as soon as I go to stream, I'm just yip yapping about it, and I don't know how to do it. So we just work on other things. I don't have to work on this necessarily. I just would really like to solve it at some point inside Factorio. Because that would be quite an achievement. And then I can just share it like, if people request it. If they're interested. But nah. Long expected lava eruption has started on island. Oh yeah. I think I mean Iceland, but... Bit of a, um... This is like 5 million? 2.4 million. That's right. I mean, there's so many patches, Jesus. Holy moly. We got 12 million as well. Most of these patches are quite sad though for the other resources. That's a good water ice, I should have just gone there. I don't need to go to, get to another system. I mean, I, I mined this water ice with a million. 272k. It's just the power of this little, uh, thing. Oh, my bots are stuck here, what's happening? Are they dying? Maybe. I'm not doing any science. Poor little bots. YouTube live feeds? It's currently four kilometer long rupture. The lava fountain reached height of 150 meters. Hey Beardless, are you talking about the volcano live feeds? Or what? Four kilometers is uh, pretty serious. I'm guessing that town disappeared. Wasn't there a town by it? Is it gone underground again? Is that is that is that the happenings? That says we're down to forty five k ice. Why haven't we left? Something's gone wrong. No steam in this tank. Oh, we didn't set this up again correctly. But more 24k, what? Oh, it turned around, that's right. Interesting. Is the town a few kilometers from there? So that is the town alright? Or is it in trouble? Oh, the well, haulers come back. Oh, jeez. Look at the damage this stuff does when they crash. How much damage do like That chest is like almost dead. Like half health. Okay, now. There is light there, so I guess. Oh yeah, is, is the town powered by volcanoes or something? Grindavik. What a cool name. They should, they should have like a, a Diablo um, DLC, Grindavik. And um, have a bit of lava. Have some heroes. I think they're still in my eyes, what do you reckon? Hey, there we go, the ice hole is off. 
Tally ho, little ice man. Um, I could probably put another ship. I think I got parts. Space. Yeah, I got enough for another ship. Oh, actually, no, this is not the most recent version. We've actually done a few updates. So, I've changed all this wiring as well. I think this is the most up-to-date one. Yeah, all right, all right, what we'll do is turn off the docking. Oh, shit. Let's turn this output off and let's do launch. And then let's get a blueprint of this. This is the moth version 2. And you can see here we don't have the the heat balancer between. And there's all this wiring slightly different. We don't have lasers up here either. So I've done a few modifications. So we're doing the moth version 3. We are upgrading the SS Moth V3. Uh, you can post links if you want, um, but they'll just I won't see them. But your best place is Discord. on Discord. I don't know if other people see them or not, but I can't see them. I just see star star star. Don't know if other people see star star star. Alright, stock it. Go to now it's orbit. And put down your ship. Bingo! Got me some, uh, got me some, got me some goodies. I don't have Discord on my work PC. Ah, uh, okay. You can send me a private message on Twitch. I mean, I'll, I'll check it after stream. Or I can post in here off the message. Or Verdict can, or Verdict can post the link if you want. I think Verdict's got access. Actually, I don't know. See, Verdict's got VIP. Uh, I don't know if that means he can post. I would think so. I just don't know how these things work. What do you reckon, Veldak? Do you reckon you're, uh, do you reckon the, you're the master? See, look, Veldak can post. There you go. Veldak's the master poster. Veldak could post all this time, he didn't even know. <laughs> It was all a trick. I bet Wes going to be jealous now. Wes going to be demanding uh, access. I think Wes is probably in here enough to maybe get it. We'll see. Place the Blue Lagoon where you can swim in hot water. <laughs> How hot? <laughs> <laughs> How hot's the water? Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. My, my feet are... Smells like chicken. My <laughs> Crunchy chicken. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's my ice? Oh, I've run out of ice. Now the ice ship's out of, out of action. Let's see how much ships go anyway. Looks pretty good. Yeah, look at this baby. Got my little uh, got my laser boys. 
Team lasers. I wish I could name like my lasers, like you know, chatters. I give you guys that. Like you guys, be shields and lasers. But I think having spaceship names is fine. This guy's a sin ice eater. So it's not none of you guys. You guys aren't sin ice eaters. Oh, my arms being I picked I pick my arm it's maybe it's like the volcano you know pick it's like a um, bit of lava on my arm lava you know the danger danger zone that lava around four kilometers and shoots 150 up in the air yeah Imagine that. Imagine, you, imagine your uh, arm like spurting blood 150 meters in the air. Like that'd be quite. That'd be quite the um. <laughs> that'd be quite the, quite the um, the pressure. <laughs> be like some sort of comedy gif or something, you know? Like it's probably like Superman when he uh, <laughs> when he's. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, no more. No, 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 Superman. Yeah. No, Superman. Looks like the ship's working, though. Done quite a few refinements. I think, I think I really like this design now. I previously didn't like it because, um, it's not as efficient as my other one, which is under a thousand. But this has got such a huge battery capacity with these energy beam receivers that this ship is like a monster. Like, it can have massive power plant basically. It doesn't have to be like on the ship. I reckon. No more Superman jokes. Hot stone massage. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sold, guys. I'm not sold. Oh, I've been recommending my own videos. You see that little blink that happened there? That was the uh, slingshot. This is my slingshot shit going on here. I don't even know why it works to be honest. It just does. One one's like one's like Astro Belt and the other one's an Elvis Orbit. And basically once the ship stops moving and it says, hey you're at Finestra and your cargo is a certain amount, then go the other way. And that's it. I mean otherwise these would be the same. If you don't have the cargo check uh, I believe that you'd never go anywhere because I couldn't figure out which way to go. But purely, 100% relies on this cargo check being correct. And I'll slingshot which way or not. It's going to go into Stardew after slingshotting through Finestra. It doesn't even save that much distance. Um, Stardew is actually uh, 36,000 away. So I'm actually. Where am I? I'm at Navis Orbit, yeah, so it's like 10,000 distance. Oh no. Hey, Wes. I was waiting for Wes to, to appear. I was like, I, I, I was, I, I had like a 
I had like a little, little rabbit hat and I was like, hmm, rabbit. Ah, but we're gonna, we do a magic trick. We're gonna, we're gonna wave our wand and a weird's gonna appear. He's gonna come out of the, of the rabbit hat. And it won't be a rabbit. It'll be, it'll be a Wes. So what's the movie, uh, Wes? Is it any good? Would you recommend? Would you watch it again? Main actress is hot AF. Oh yeah, that says, that says enough. You're sold. You're all in. I said the name? Oh. Where? Is the movie called Before Work? <laughs> it, it, the movie's called Look Away, obviously, but... Um, I was finishing up a movie on Netflix, Look Away. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realise Look Away was like a movie name. It, to me, it's like part of the sentence. It was like it was like part of the flowing sentence. Like I thought you're looking away, and you looked away at my channel, and you saw Velocare. So, look, there are links. Look at that. Nightbot's got links. Oh, actually, I should get rid of that Twitter link. It's um, I don't use Twitter. I gotta edit that out. I gotta, I gotta do some uh, admin over the holidays. I think on my on my ch channel. I've been a bit um, lazy this year. I haven't really done anything at all. I need some. Um... Yeah, I couldn't find. I couldn't get access to the first. I think I might have had it and lost the I lost the account. I don't know. Why well, we got no power? No, no, we're fine. Yeah, I love this little, I love this little operation. Little ice mining operation. But yeah, I couldn't get my holic everywhere on the internet. I wasn't early enough, I think, on some platforms. My YouTube, I had to like stake it out. Um, someone else had my holic. So I got my holic with zero. But eventually that account disappeared, then I claimed my one. Which is my holic actual, rather than with a zero. It's difficult, man. These names are too too much in use. Other people use these names. It's not good. Nothing missed though. I have to say though, horror movies are, are a great platform for new actors to get um, recognised. I think like that's like a typically horrors are like you can take a bit of a risk. On your actors because they pretty much most of them die off after a few scenes don't get many lines um but if they if, if they figure out oh that's actually that actor did a good job or we like that actor and yeah they, they'll, they'll get they'll get some more um movies they'll stick around it'll be good for them it'll be good times i feel like researching something what do you reckon should I, should I grab? Should I grab some lasers? I can't be bothered though, eh? I mean, even this rocket protection is a waste of time. Um, and all that doesn't work because I've actually I just got I got missiles. I, mean, I was kind of avoiding like the in game. 
by doing the puzzle, but... Let's look for resources. What resources am I short of? It says I've got nothing short right now, which is kind of weird. Um... Go browse my planets. I mean, Agnea here, what's this one doing? I mean, it's got all this ice. Crikey, look at this ice. Belts and belts and belts of ice feeding. Making blue balls. Team blue balls. I mean, actually, is it making blue balls? No. It just makes water. Surprisingly efficient, though. The water usage. I think you don't lose it all. I think you get it back. It goes, it comes out. I think you get some back. These are the blue balls. See, look, I got a factory of making blue balls. It's got to have sulfur, acid, and steam, and you make blue balls. I mean, sounds like a pretty potent combination to me to make blue balls. Like, shit, man. It's like you drink a Red Bull, that's the sulfuric acid. Um, have a shower. And, uh, see, the, you got the plastic with the, the, the Red Bulls in. I'm not sure what this rod is, though. I'm not sure the rod is. Not sure about that one. But yeah. Basically, drinking a Red Bull in the shower, and you get blue balls. That's that's my summary. <laughs> I mean, it's like battery acid, right? That shit's nasty. Don't re don't recommend. Not a fan. Now maybe I'll make a new build of this. I kind of like the idea of designing some builds today. I might design a new build. This is the original build. It's kind of looks a bit messy to me. What's gone wrong? Uh, I so we just flooded. I wish you got too many ingots. Look at that. We got so many ingots. We got nothing to do with them. They're just sitting there. This is fine. Now, this interesting thing with this build is it does make stone. You get a lot of stone on these builds. Now, I don't really use the stone on this planet, you see, so I was probably going to make a recycling ship. Um, the idea of a recycling ship, I might start making it in here. You get the old culminator, you gotta read, read the grid, right? Uh, I'll put a bunch down, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I just feel like the nearby It'll be easier. So, first things first. We read, re read, read logistics. So that's the whole network, right? Now, something in here is going to click about 500, I think. Yeah, maybe a thousand. I could do a thousand. Okay. So, yellow. Over a thousand output yellow. There we go. Where's the power? I need the power. Give me power. Now this is gonna um I'm gonna create a junk a junk logic free replanet. So your planet's gonna create a list. I think a thousand's pretty fine. I don't know if it is. This is the list, apparently. We need to output to our... Uh, I think a wide... Wide is the best way to do it. Yes, do like this. And that's the list there. You see the little green signals? All those items are over a thousand. Now when I look at that list... Some of the things like stand out as being, well... Maybe I don't want to export them. So I can do like an exclusion list. I think... The robots. T and Z. We don't need them. Everything else. Fair game. Well. Maybe. What about the ore? Like, do I want to export 
copper ore? Like, why have I got copper ore? Anyway, like, why is there actually copper ore in my, uh... I mean, did I... Why is there copper ore, actually? That doesn't make any sense. Not really makes sense. Actually, why is it like that? We have to look, navigate. So there's like the little copper base, and maybe I've like ripped up one of these at one point. And it picked up all the ore off the belt. And I never got recycled in. And so that's how that happens. But those sort of things actually can be easily solved. You can just do like this sort of... Kind of plug it in. I don't really want to do this on every planet. I'd rather just have a generic junker rather than like fix up a planet's problems. Um, but this time I'm going to fix on, on non, like normal planets. I'll just request it. And we'll just get rid of the copper ore. Because there should be any copper ore here anyway. It'll just be, uh... Should be good. Should be fine. Yeah, even as 50. We'll go to 100. And that should get rid of that. And that's done basically. But as this gets processed, we'll just turn it into copper ingots. And that's recycled. When do I fix my um these ones either? But looking at that, I'm thinking I did not. 64,000 sand. Yeah, that's that's a bit that's a bit dire. So I've got my actual build up here, what we got? 14. Okay, that looks better. But it's actually died though. These, these chests are filled up with, um, enriched, and then these aren't crushing because there's coal contamination. Huh? Ah, oh, we had a couple belts up here of coal, I didn't realise. Huh. Okay. Oh, we've got an overflow for that too, but the, the inserter for that is uh, off is off the side. That's a bit awkward. So some of them... Yeah, I see what happened. That was a rookie mistake. So my, um... My friend just asked me about crypto. And they're like, Oh my god, my friend from overseas! Like, they, uh... They made so much money on crypto. Do you know about do you know about crypto? And I was like thinking, do I tell them? You know it's a bit of a scheme, right? <laughs> uh, I was having some musings with my friends um yesterday. I was having a bit of a I thought I was on fire because I wasn't streaming, so I was like I was actually being like an ideas man, right? And uh I was like brainstorming, like what was the best but we're talking about what's the best company in all of recorded history. And I said the Catholic, Catholic Church is the best company ever in history. And the reason is, is that they sell you air. Their product is air. Everyone's sold on like what you're told in the air. Like this, they hear things. And, and they buy it. And so they're sold on air. I was like, that's the best product you can never sell anyone. It's air. And I was like thinking, but what's crypto? Actually, crypto is air as well. Crypto started off as being like unique collecting things, but really it's just selling you a bit of faith. Just a bit of faith. That's what it is. There's nothing else going on there. Some of the skill issue. That's very true, Wiz. Um, what happened is I left a little bit of this, this, these ones up here. I didn't realize we're on a coal patch. And I did have a filter. Yeah, to filter out the coal, but my inserters were in the wrong location. And so it didn't work out as intended. Why are we I I already agreed with you. No, what I mean by uh crypto being it's like air is like the product is sold by people talking. But that's it. That's all the product is, is people talking about it, right? That's the product. It's faith. It's like a gospel. It's like a religion. Like, it's just, just frenzied FOMO for, for a, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Now, I can't won't get any more. These will just, they'll be fine. So that fixed that, and the coal does get back into the rest of this. So I had voted it, but I just had the wrong inserted location. We're good now. Uh, what's over here? The biggest benefit to crypto is that it's based on a formula, not the whims of people whose interest is to inflate the value artificially. And not that different from modern day currency though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like being anti-crypto, I'm just saying like, the best products in history us uh, is where a product is li literally is faith like your best product you can never sell anyone is faith in something right that's your best if you can sell someone the faith like belief in something you're the you're the master salesman you've sold the best product ever so any product that gets close to being like air is the best product so crypto is like amazing product in that regard so is so is religion um that was the whole premise of what I was talking about. Um, but I likened like, you know, um, Magic the Gathering cards to basically like strip club money. So people go to strip clubs, they get like some, you know, unique money, they gotta spend it there. And that's the same as like, the way I looked at Magic the Gathering is, you get some unique cards, and you can only use them with your other friends who collect the unique cards. So basically, playing Magic the Gathering is like hanging out with your mates, but no one's taking their top off. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch is based on faith. I always hope my favorite streamers go live every day. Yeah, see, um, Twitch is like the cult of personality, which is like the, the start of a cult, right? So most, the most of the top Twitch streamers are basically, uh, like they're cult, they're cult figureheads, like cultists. Um, they all have their own little, you know own little gospel of what they say and how they talk, right? It's all very similar though, that it's very transferable, but it's just like little mini, mini little cults. And you're just signing up to your own little, uh, own little belief system. Like which cult do you want to belong to, right? Or which, 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 uh, faith, faith based system. I think most people like a program like it's it's actually a, it's actually a survival mechanism to believe in things that don't exist. Um, like if you're in the jungle and you like you hear like some like forest rust rustling and you see a shadow move, you think it's a cat's gonna eat you, and you like you run. There's nothing there in the first place, but the fact you run means that the next time when there is a cat, you survive. So that becomes like a passed down genetics. Uh, survival mechanism, so that's where faith came from, is just people surviving, um... <laughs> when they thought there was something bad happening, but it wasn't necessarily bad. Hey, why did that 44 hit something? Looks fine. It says five items destroyed. Oh, we lost... So where's that right hand side? I don't understand. Is none of the above an option? Oh, I'm not saying everyone is. I'm just saying that's the best. Like, probably about half the, half of society is uh, prone to uh, faith. We, we're programmed to it. So it's a survival mechanism. That's half of the population. The other half, they break down to many other little factors. So, yeah, but like 10% of the population apparently um, are just like you know black sheep or you know the the opposite of white sheep. Basically, they uh, pretend to be sheep. Um, Like, yeah, you know, the wolf, wolf in sheep's clothing type thing. I don't really know, can even say black sheep these days, but it, that's like, oh, you have to be so careful. I don't even know. But you know what I mean though, like, um, you've got the leaders, the followers, and then the people who rebel against the leaders and followers. Um, and those ratios change, depends on the time you're in, like, Say so you're in a you're in good times, you have a lot of faith, right? Everyone's faith is pretty damn good. But then the bad times come, faith gets a bit a bit chaotic and faith starts splintering, right? Everyone has different faiths. You start believing different things, and you get more like rogue actors who start cults basically. They start you start it's like the um the, the positive and negative leaders. That's what they basically are. You have the leaders that are good leaders, and you have the leaders that are like 
I'm not following current like logic. I'm doing my own thing. And that's your Twitch streamers. They're like the bad. They're the bad leaders, technically, because they're not being like the social norm, right, of a leader. Because this is outside of normal societal uh, leadership, so to speak. Normal leadership, you go up up the ranks of corporate ladder or investing or whatever, and you follow those leaders. I don't know. That's the way. This is one lens on it. I don't know what it actually is, but. I find it interesting, like, the, 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 the notion of, like, it's all biological functions, like, we, we have, like, uh, different, you know, niches that we uh, want to fit in. See, so it's not aligned with your niche that you belong to, and then you, you're happy, right? If, you, if you're in a niche you don't like, and you're forced to be compliant to, you, you'd be miserable. So, yeah, that's my, that's my rant on, uh... <laughs> <laughs> on air. That's my air rant. What do you reckon? Any merit? Are you getting somewhere? Or should I, or should I um, should I refine, refine the other uh, air rant? Get some, uh, maybe get a dirt, maybe a dirt, a dirt, a dirt rant. Talk about dirt. <laughs> it's about water. Wet fire. I mean, we had fire before, you know, we had fire splitting the air, thanks to, uh, um, Bethes, Dane, and, and Veldak. We had a bit of lava. Lava going about. It's strange about dirt. Alright, tiny. Yeah. I do like dirt, by the way. I used to be quite fond of the garden. As a young, young nipper. Little, little sprog. Back in the day. Um... I think most people don't really have much touch with the dirt anymore, though. Yeah, you, know, you have the whole thing about touching grass is actually a thing now. Like, you want to go out and touch some grass, like rather than like being at your computer all day long, right? And um, all these uh, <clears throat> all these households that are real super clean, like apartments, um, no dirt. Um, I mean, dirt's actually everywhere, though. Like, dirt's like every single air particle you breathe in has got dirt in it. Dirt's just like raining down outside on your patio, on everywhere all the time. But we just clean it away. But the lack of dirt in your life destroys your immune system. Your immune system gets really, really bad. It just attacks itself after a while because it's so bored. It's got nothing dirty to deal with. It's like, ah, uh, what have I done today? Oh man, I've just sat around. I haven't done anything. There's, there's no dirt to like beat up, you know? Like your immune system wants stuff to beat up. It's like, Wow, that that doesn't look right. Let's get rid of that that bit of dirt out of the system. Let's kick it out. That's the viruses, right? These like dirt's like filled with like bacteria and viruses. What like trace amounts though? Poor immune system. It's now doomed to drink and watch Twitch. <laughs> yeah, it's um, everyone's a bubble person, you know, we're all living in little bubbles, but like actually quite literally like everyone's immune system the last two years has been destroyed because of not going outside enough. Because not getting enough sunlight, not enough, getting, not enough dirt, being too clean inside. I mean, people argue that it's not clean inside, you, everyone's quite filthy inside, you might be filthy of your own, your, your own muck. Everyone's a bit mucky, but uh... You gotta you know, no one's introducing this foreign, foreign dirt into their life, you know? It's all too clean. So then they finally do integrate back into society, like, have a bit of a chat, a bit of a chin wag with their buddies. They all get sick, and they go, do I have COVID? No, you're just sick because your immune system's like, it's got real, real dulled down. And all the virus has been bored too. Viruses get like, they have like their thing, if they don't spread around, they get a bit, bit angry. And they're like, oh man, we haven't done much lately. Let's change things up. Yeah, so you're a dog owner, so you're in a, mon you're in a minority there, Tiny Goliath. See, dogs are very dirty, so you're in a good spot. Having a pet is an amazing way to 
keep dirty. You, know, you keep that filth level real good. But like a lot of people though, no pets, live, a, live in a sunless apartment in the, in the dark. That's a lot of people's life. So, you're doing good having a pet. Hey, what's going on here? Okay, it looks like my little uh, ice hauler did its job. For some reason though, we're outputting to the north. Oh, that's my new ship. That's right. Is that part of the payload? Are we only asked for 2k? I'm actually going for a higher number. Guarantee we steam up. Oh, we blueprinted this thing off. Actually, that's quite clever. So if I cough into my palm and touch items on shelves and stores, I'm making others, <laughs> others a service. <laughs> I mean, sharing is caring. Uh, that's that's the thing, right? You got four dogs. Oh man, tiny. <laughs> you got a lot, of, a lot of yappers there. I bet they love you though. Those dogs are great. I mean, we got a lot of cat lovers here. It's like team team Cifa. Colt. Cult of um, Cephas um, cats. I should probably do more factory though. What are we doing? I was kind of like. Oh, I guess we're collecting ice. We'll go back to um, Agnar. We have a little look around. We we're actually going to do this logistics thing, but I got distracted. Where's put me off track? He lowered my confidence. I mean, why have we got 25,000 in this one? Then we got the other one with 25,000 this thing. It's all wrong. It's like min maxed in the opposite direction. So I think my blueprint still is broken. This stuff's moving though. It's not like broken, broken. Max is like broken in a ratio. Well, it looks like, hey. Okay. This one's not flying. I wonder why. You remember what logic I'm using? Waiting for space. Maybe because the output's output there is secondary. Could be an order, ordering thing where this stuff gets filled afterwards. I can see it moving though. And so it's going. We're only about 60 to 70 on the people with dogs or cats, so the park trails are busy with other people. It's fantastic. That sounds like a it sounds like you're living in like a blue zone, tiny. That sounds awesome. What a cool community. Do you have like a do you have like a they because we've got a few bars here, they have like dog bars. Little dogs sit inside the bar. I'm like, sometimes the dogs like take a bit much space. I'm like, uh, I don't want to stand on your tail, buddy. Can I get past? I'm not trying to intrude, but uh, you know, I don't talk in woof woof. Can't woof woof you. <laughs> can I? Can I walk past, little doggo? I won't hurt you. Oh, this is dead. Wow, it's totally dry. That was iron ore, it looks like. It's totally drained. Wow, well, okay. I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's the point of these mines, but... We might have to get, like, a bigger patch. I mean, we could go out further and grab them. Not the worst idea. I feel like, um... Karen designed this thing, though. We're gonna get this logic thing. We're gonna... Create the logic to, um... Get rid of resources, but I gotta find where I was building it. I had like a little here we go. So here we go. So the green wire is that stuff there. And we got I reckon maybe even a higher than a thousand. Maybe maybe even go to like uh, 
2,000. Maybe even 3,000. Yeah, 3,000 is looking a good number. Then got though, the problem is that there's something got ice in the network. And we end up stealing the ice back, which I don't want. So we must like take things out of the network. Or figure out excluding items. I think we'd exclude some items. Like this ice, I think we put in this chest here. Thousand there. Yeah, thousand there, yeah, it's probably why. We're gonna throw some elsewhere. Most of us are finer pets here, but mine are a bit larger and want pets 24 7. It's time to put the boots on and get them out on the morning. Alright. Thanks for coming in, Tiny Goliath. Hope you have a great doggo walk. I love the doggos. I also love going doggo doggo walking. That was that was with someone else. It wasn't my doggo. Okay, that's that's um I think I think uh we did add an exclusion list. I'm gonna do a co constant common error. This is the stuff we don't want to bin. So I mean, I wish you to say all ores. It'd be nice to say, you know, all ores. And it does them all. I don't really like having to do this manual thing. I click that one, then that one, then that one. Ugh. I mean, we can just take them all, but I think we add um, water ice. Um, I think we want at least 5,000 available, potentially. And that is... Oh, this, is a, this is just a positive. Um, we'll do a negative one ominator. So each times by minus one, output each. Uh, and let's wire it up. That should be good, I think. Go in the back or the front? Actually, we're going to do green. Green to the front. There we go. So now ice is at 586. That's so been dropped down. I mean, we could technically exclude it from the list as well instead. Maybe like minus a million or something. Oh, where's your hit a nerve? All I know, all I know is most guys are single. And single in society is at the at record highs. I mean, and the, and the only reason people are single is because the cost of living is high. The direct, direct relationship between a cost of existing and how many people are single. Um, that's it. There's, there's no like, there's no like, doesn't matter what media says, doesn't what anyone else says. If people can't afford to have relationships, they won't. People are quite uh, homo economists. E What's the word? E economists? E I don't know. But yes, I agree with it's um, it's tough out there. Tough world. Tough. I think we do the T and Z as well, because I don't want them being requested. Um, why is it road read like, oh, I guess we have to, yeah. So, do I add all these letters? I mean, I guess do T and Z as negatives. Z, uh, T. I mean, that should take them out of the list, at least. Though, maybe we should add them before, so they're not even in there, because this whole thing is about... Uh, we're doing 1k. But maybe it's a bit low. We're doing this, we get 5,000 
spear. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking the extra stuff here. That the the blue balls and the homium wires, though, and the logi bots. We don't want logi bots being taken. Obviously, we can't put that satellite on orbit. That rocket can land on the moon and come back. We're going to the moon. Is that what you're telling me? We're going to the moon? We're mooning, mate. We're going to the moon. We're going to the moon with Wes. Wes is like the general. Or the. Actually, what is the Admiral? Admiral. Admiral Wes. I like that. Sounds pretty good. Admiral Wes. Going to the moon, skipper. Oi, oi, mate. Oi, oi, mateys. All aboard. Set sail. We're off. We're off to the moon. Yes. It's the issue of wanting E, but seeing it stands to P. Alright. I'm gonna have to, have to, I'm gonna have to research this E and P business, Wes. It's, um, it's gone beyond my uh, comprehension. Hey, why is the why is the 12k ice now? Actually, screw it. We just take ice out of the, out of the picture entirely. Um. Yeah. Ah, yes. It could be the um two. Male female hormones. M mush. Could be. I don't think, I'm not sure. Wes could be quite cryptic. Literally going for positions in the alphabet, okay. The old alphabet, okay. I mean, I could do a higher limit, 5,000. Go 5,000. What's that got? Um, we'll take some Logibots. Don't really want to take Logibots, so I might make that another 5 million. We'll never have too many Logibots. So, everything there, I think that's good. I think we steal that, it's probably not going to do any harm. I don't, know why I, got, I don't know why I got so many copper plates though. No, I like my interpretation better. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving a Formula One Grand Prix race, and uh, you know, I'm I'm an, I'm an, I'm 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 driving pole position. I'm number one, but uh, people it, it, it come last in the race. They expect to get me. It's a bit. It's a bit of a hard ask. It's a bit of a hard ask. <laughs> That's not how it is in reality, though. But that's that's what Wes is saying. I believe. I think that's gonna work. Now this might only work for this planet. So I might need a specific um, foot on each planet. But if I do this and let's do set requests, so this one's gonna go. We'll just do a positive filter first. So. Another decider, I think. We do a positive filter. And this one's just gonna each greater than zero output input count. There we go, so go to those negative numbers. I don't think we need to do that though, but I think I like it for clarity. Um, is only positive numbers go on request the chest and, and other things. So you can then do like a chest. I mean, I, do, I can do some prep chests even. I can do buffer chest to prep it. Uh, I don't know. 
We can just do set requests, right? But I think what you really want was that docking clamp situation I did. Um, this thing here, I think I like this. This is so easy. So when the A signal arrives, set requests. That's it. It's so simple. It's just got to read the docking clamp. And you have like this thing here to take out the console because that always gets passed through. And this is basically the back of this will be um, this. This will be actually on the spaceship. This will be the opposite way of this. But what I did on my older planets, we did this thing here. Uh, that reads the signal and then it goes, hey, this thing passed the signal through. And it goes to these chests here and they start requesting the rough data cards. But they don't request data cards unless the ship's docked. That's what I quite like about these buffer chests. And then you gotta read this steel chest though to be a launch condition. Because you can't read and set requests, which is really stupid. I wish you could. You can do one or the other. If, if someone knows how to do both at once, I would, I, I'm all ears, but you can't. Well, all my ships have to do like this sort of A A signal, and the A signals from here, which is the location. For some reason we're on 1100 on a moon. It's kind of strange, but we read green, output red. That's kind of pretty basic. Let me just go put this high egg there. A bit, a little bit lost on. Uh, yeah, up there, that's fine. We're just playing around with the seeing it up. See if we get it right. So we don't need this constant combo. This is this is this is just a a whatever. Um, actually, we don't know we've got clamps down here. But we do have clamps. Oh, that's nice. I like having clamps. Okay. So we don't need that, that's not part of it, and then all we're doing is passing the signal here, there's a green signal on the back of this. Cool. And so as soon as this reads the location of, actually A does not equal um, zero, that's better because it's more generic. So actually, as soon as it gets an A signal at all, it doesn't, matter, it doesn't care what it is, it's now a generic clamp. Uh, it will pass through this. Now this is like you wanted a special case, I can pass through another item to dump off this planet. So I'll leave that there, constant. But this now has all these signals. So all those signals will go through to the spaceship chest. And I can probably make this a bit tighter, but spaced out. Um, let's see what I think. I mean, it's not that bad. It goes to the front of that. We might be able to do that instead. I'm not sure if that's the best layout or not. But. Hang on, where'd that one go? I oh, went to the pole to read it, but you don't need that anymore. Yeah. That's fine. I always find a way to need power for these. I don't really understand that. It doesn't make sense to me. Um. That should be a generic um, dumper, so you can build an outboard spaceship that just literally takes anything away. Now I can actually add a dumper to my existing ships. So I was thinking of retrofitting my existing ships to be pickers, pick them up. Um, so this is already working. Now the one annoying thing about this is it constantly goes. Constantly reading, so it is hitting UPS, but not, not in a big way. It's just annoying that it constantly goes. We don't need this chest here, this is just a test chest. I could actually fill up with items and do a requester chest on the spaceship, but I think doing buffer chests is better. 
because you can just set request on the buffer chest and then the other end can do well shit hmm maybe we do need to request the chest so it gets locked up in there because we can't request it we can't read it so we have to output it um into another chest so I could output into steel chest, like um, request chest into a steel chest and then steel chest into a purple chest. That way we request to the blue, output to the steel. Once that steel fills up, we launch and when we get the destination, the correct A signal, we use the inserter into the purple chest. And so yeah, that'd work. That'd work. Okay. Um, there's no reason not to use a buffer chest. You can do the same thing with a buffer chest, I believe. There's no reason not to use a buffer chest, actually, but I think the problem with the buffer chest, it does contaminate the logic of... If you use the logistics math, so I use logistics math at like uh now it's a little bit. It won't like better work properly because it's like all these chests here are ruining the math. They say, oh there's like thousands and thousands of you know things on the ground here. We we won't bother taking it, we'll just leave it be. And that is that. Actually. Yeah, no scrap even. Oh yeah, we got that, uh, we added this iron. That's right, we had this iron plate. Um, pick up. It was an ice hauler, but I swapped it over to being, uh, iron. I was gonna do iron and copper, but I didn't figure out how to half and half it. You do like half, 50% on both. But I didn't finish. I just quickly put this, I just basically swapped out. Uh, but maybe we can do a better one. How's the setting anyway? We're setting it somewhere, I can't remember where it is. It might be on the other, other end. We set it. I don't think it's on the ship. I kind of like having all the logic on the ship because then I know exactly what got to change. We need like distribute this logic between different services. I mean they, it does make it easier to do but then when you're going to change things it can make it a lot harder. I, f I mean say you got 10 ships it's better to do not on the ships but do at the surface. If waiting out one ship, it's definitely better to do the spaceship. I guess it's a matter of scale. Anyway, uh... Igna. This thing, I think this is alright. I think this is actually, uh, good. So what we gotta do is figure out what sort of clamp numbers to use. We can use E number. I first had ship with logic on board, but later changed to have logic outside. Yeah, they, they do. Get, it does take up a lot of space on 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 board. It is a problem in that regards. So we're gonna dot. Hmm. I think this is better though. What do you reckon about this photo? Is this a good little design for a junker? 
Might be able to grab my junk from my um existing game as well. Um so I can find the blueprints. Oh, not that one. I wish I escaped and jump all the way back. I threw out a junker though. Design saved, but I might not have saved. It might have been part of the game saves rather than um yeah, universal saves. My brain says I got it, but um, I don't know where it is. So we're probably better off just designing another than scratch, which is kind of annoying, but. Hey, maybe we'll come up with a better design. Maybe that's the way to go. I mean, this Hex Arco was pretty cool. We had an Arco Link chest on it, I believe. Yeah, I can't see it. That was a wonky ship. Uh, let's just make another ship. Alright. Um, what design template do I work with? That's the question. Uh, actually, it's really slow running out of Nequitite. I don't know where it's going, but... I could copy this design. This is my old iron drive ship, and I could make that a junker. We do have plenty of iron drive fuel. I'd rather not use iron drive, I probably should just, but I think the top half of this is actually a really good layout. I don't think I need the slingshot logic though. Yeah, this is not a bad just design. Let me just rip off. We just um. What have I got this one? Let's turn off. Turn this off. Actually, if I launch it, it's gonna go and do other things. I think we got other ones in orbit. We just grab one of them. Ah. Uh, Not sure what we want to do, but put it in here. I made a simple scalable logic. I have been getting coming at like if A is greater equal to four, then send all signals to ship. Where A count represents the number of conditions met. Yeah. All oh, right, so you're doing the pre-launch conditions externally. Yeah, so I do that on the ship. Yeah, so this is the this is the same thing as I have the tick boxes. When tick boxes get enough, launch, send these signals, launch, and where to go to, to the console. But I guess you would have all that off the, off the ship, and you just uh, these two just go destination and launch will be received when that's like this is this is the only thing that's actually gating off the ship really just those three things then on the ship yeah i could try to design that um i don't think i've got enough ships to bother and it doesn't i actually don't find it takes up much real estate having it on board i find it makes it easier for me to retrofit my ships because I have kind of unique ships, often. Anyway, um, let's go design a new ship though. So, we're not building it on these ones. We need a antimatter one, so. 
some advice we could do up to the north. I think off off east here though. I think I got to rid of this stuff. These were this was a stupid decision. I don't know why I did this. It was really dumb. I think I was having a brain dead moment. I have quite a few of them. Verdicts and ASMR category. Where? What's the channel? What's the channel called? Tell me, tell me. Where is it, Bedless? Alright, we need to get some fuel. Uh, scaffold. It's number one category that should be kicked in the sea. Oh, I think a lot of uh, I mean, a lot of misunderstanding is uh, if someone's gonna pay for it, then hey, that's fine, right? So it's a market. It's legit. Can't can't fault the market. But. Imagine it was gov government subsidized. That would be like, oh my god. ASMR subsidized by the government. Imagine that. <laughs> That's like, it's like mental health benefits. Oh my god. Do me good. Now that would be taking the piss, right? My other argument was uh, if you want ethics, you want a government. If you want non ethics, you want corporations. Corporations will do anything. They'll do anything possible without a government around. There's nothing stopping a corporation. They just do whatever. They love it. Hey, Arch, Arch Ezekiel. How's it going? Thank you for the raid. What's, what's happening? Oh, well, Verdict wasn't even on. Verdict snoozing. Going well, finishing up my last pie stream of the year. Oh, nice. How far, uh, how, how, how far down the rabbit hole of, uh, of your pie, of the pie are you? I actually forgot I was playing Factorio for a second. Doesn't, doesn't feel like it after a while. Feels like I'm just doing uh, just chatting, because I'm not really um, I'm not really learning anything. I'm just like designing, I guess. Nearing Pi two, getting close to the twenty five percent mark. Oh wow, okay. They're like five hundred hours, I think, or four hundred hours. What's your metrics? I don't know how long it takes to get that far. I think it takes ages though. A long time. Ah, uh, damn. We we'll use the three pipes. All right, let's try this new ship. Two thirty for us. Oh, that's quite quick. So can can it like the amount of time take very quite a lot then? I okay, might put it, um, where's the docking clamp? We can go higher, I think. Well, I we can put it down here, but then we got, got to put engines on it. They're like quite hefty. I'll we'll put it here initially. So how many hours of that, uh, 230 were idle? I bet you're not many. I mean, 230 is a pretty solid, solid speed. I mean, you're going to finish it under a thousand, right? I mean, if uh, if I could do pie, full pie under a thousand hours, I'd probably would play it. Um, but I can't imagine me doing it faster than like fifteen hundred or something. And that, that just that just does my head in in a, in a in a in a loop. I've done pie light. I tried pie light. It took one fifty hours. That was fun. 
I feel like I got like enough of a pie experience that I feel like I've played pie. You know, I got got to deal with the ash you do, and I had some little muck moo and little critters, and I was uh, you know, I, I was doing things. It was fun. You really have no sense of how long pie is gonna take. It feels so much. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like something else. Eh? It's just uh, just something else. Right, we're not gonna do any of this. Dog shit. Need new engine system, so I might grab one of these. So I could do four rather than the eight. It is a small ship. I think four might be alright. Try that. Spy Stellar Expedition? What? What's that? Is that another um another mod for it? That sounds really cool. But, uh, I'm have to do like a pie light stellar expedition then. That sounds like a bit of fun. I don't really want to do the alien life and hard stuff. They're building a new pie space expo. So is it like? Is it like based on space exploration or just parts of space exploration or what? You'll start in space. Oh wow, awesome. Okay. Just pie in space? Huh. Oh. That sounds awesome though, I'll have to try that out. I mean, not the full pie, but... Lost in space! <laughs> you know? Could be fun. What's these pipes? I don't think they do these pipes. Um, I would like to feel from below. I'm not sure we can. This one we could because we had a gap. I think I feel we side side load it. That'd be fine. Well, if it's anything like pile alternate energy, it still requires everything. Oh. Well, pile light didn't. Pile light definitely was not. I don't think it needed, um, I think, four of the mod packs or two of them. I can't remember. It was enough that it was made it way, way easier. Like, a, like, 10 times easier. <laughs> that was like my kind of easy. I was like, yeah, I could do this. And I feel, I feel, I feel accomplished. Yeah. Done pie. Yeah, I'm the boss. I'm an, actually, an, I'm an amateur. But I feel like I'm the boss. <laughs> I'm an amateur boss. I'm not a real boss. Um, something like that. That's, that's how I felt with my life. I think one tank's a bit light, but considering we're only doing a small ship here, um, we might be okay. Um, I have to go down here though. Yeah, maybe another tile below. I'll go down here. Hmm. Not sure about the side. Must we chop that out? This side we can keep. I think we don't need that. All that. Yeah, I mean, quick pie and medium pie is still quite. A challenge. Anyway, time for me to crash. Stream for a while. Alright, take care. Arch. Thanks for the raid. Hope you uh, put you on the flip side, eh? Thanks for the raid. That's good fun. Good chats. Thanks for the ra 
chats to the raiders too. Sometimes the raiders don't really not very chatty, so it's nice your raiders are uh, chitty chatty. Hell yeah! All right, this is looking good. What's a little pocket rocket? Look how big it is gonna be. It reminds me of small as. It reminds me of like a like a a rocket probe. It's gonna hum along, you know. It's gonna too long in the space. Oh, is this connected? Well, that is. Oh, it's just turned off. I see. Uh, we just add a couple pipes. It'll be fine. I'll do this thing. So, what's the size? What's the bet? 900? 901. Holy moly, that's a small ship. That's pretty good. Not quite balanced because we've got this uh duck and clamp but i think with three shields that's pretty good i think we should be safe as well i think it's gonna be a bit fast though now all the logic's all wrong but the idea is this is all junker stuff this should set requests rather than read requests And that's going to be based on the, um... Uh... Clamp. Yeah. Cool. So there's actually no... I'm not sure how I'll read... That it's actually ready to go, though. That seems to be the grey chest. Oh, we're going to charge this up too. I forgot about that. Not the best place to dock right now, but... Probably should actually try to build this into... Like here or something? Let's have a look. Is it going to fit in further? Pretend Z. Yeah, this thing can sneak in here easy. And then, uh... It's more central to my base, but... The whole point of the ship is just, um... Really want to get near this. Could have put it over here, but we've already got other ships nearby. Can't quite go there. Have we ran out of ice again? We have. Oh. This my little uh, sun eater, ice eaters. Oh, it's filled up. That's doing pretty good. Pretty good. This, uh, this side here gets hit a few times. I think we get like multiple big rocks. Oh, these things. Massive. Couple of them and your shields are dead. Hmm. Yeah, all these big, big boys.
Very hot, man. It's a bit of a heat wave. Um, it happened early in night. I think we did good though. We got this new ship. Uh, we're almost ready. Just gonna charge it up, and then we got the logic. I might do that next time. We don't need this. This this here is a slingshot. I think this is just inside the star system, but I guess no harm leaving this here. It doesn't need to be on. Well, we can do two versions. We can do the in, in, inter star system and int, intra star system. This is the intra. This can go anywhere. Um, but obviously, obviously it's better not to go right now. We're not been looking for. Uh, Nagratite. We're probably gonna look for a signal. So I look for a green signal or something. Maybe a, we look for a blue signal. I don't know what the opposite's gonna be, but basically, these aren't reading these chests are setting requests. So I probably need a um. Ray chest or something. Okay. I think that's good. It's already got the fuel. Um, all we need to do is charge this up with power. And I think it's good to go. Now the water pipe is barely set up. What have I done here? I've got... Oh wait, I've done... No, maybe it's not barely set up. It's set up to... It's red wired. Correct. No, it's not connected to that. What the hell? Oh, the pump. That's not connected. It's not connected to that for the um, 24k. Oh no, no, it's, it's connected. This is a bit funny. Um, that's that's. Um, it needs to be fixed. Uh, I think I'm 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 feeling I'm feeling parched eh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna raid someone. I know it's a bit short, but I'll stream more um maybe maybe tomorrow, maybe, tomorrow, maybe after. We'll see. I don't know how to raid though. We've got evil rays doing railroader, that may might be fun. You guys like trains, right? Oh, I'm not sure about evil rays these days. I'm doing factory. Uh, someone's doing a suburb farm. Should we raid them? Oh, they're like a. What's all these avatars? Movie boy. All right. Kooby Boy does. Let's check out Kooby Boy. As per Veldak. Thank you, thank you for the chats. Adios amigos. Have a good one. Keep it real. Keep those doggos dirty. Keep your house clean. Or, 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 or the opposite. 